I'm Spencer Knowledge Ferron uh, of Sky Sports Ringside Toe to Toe Boxing Podcast and hashtag Toe to Toe. Um, and you're watching Lights Out. Uh, this is Lights Out on Faso Khan, joined by Dave Allen and his protege Danny. Um, Danny Morell. Danny Morell, and we're here at Westfields for the public workout between Josie Parker and Dinny White. Dave Allen takes on Nick Webb on Saturday night. Dave, yeah. excited to be back in the ring? Yeah, I'm, I'm, um, I'm excited to be at Westfield Shopping Centre first and foremost. Great shopping centre, fantastic mm. shopping centre. Um, I'm, I, I love the big nights. This is what this is what we're living for. Mm. To fight the to fight out two Saturday night, feels a goal. Nick Webb. Uh, and, and a very winnable big fight. Yeah, I think it's probably the most winnable big fight I've had. There was there was rumours that you were sort of like done with boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah Saturday, was, night, Saturday night, maybe the last fight. Yeah. yeah what was but, um, what's made you take this fight? So I can beat it. Well, is it is it personal beat, between you and yeah, Nick? It's not really, I like him, and it's just a, it's just a big fight at the O2. You can't do no big fights at the O2. Mm-hmm. Good money. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just took it. I, I love fighting. And after this fight, you know, if another big fight comes up, another occasion like this, very hard to turn down. But you know, I need to get the result on Saturday. Otherwise, it possibly probably will be the last one. You obviously he's, he's not had many fights, Nick Webb. You've had tons of experience against the likes of Lenroy Thomas, Dillian White, and of course Luis Ortiz. Do you think your experience kind of like gives you the upper hand going into this fight? I think it'll fight? tell you. I think Nick Webb can punch is strong, but going to negate all of them, got to negate them and take them to the second half of the fight and then, mm-hmm. and then I think it's a fight, I think the fight is mine from that point almost from mm-hmm. round four to five on, I think it's my fight. Yeah, but so obviously you're saying that the longer the fight goes on, it, the longer it goes into the distance, yep. it sort of suits yourself. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm naturally a fitter man, I think I'm physically stronger, mm. definitely tougher. Yeah. Um, more experience, I think the longer it goes, the better. If he wants to come, if he wants to come for a punch up here then, um, I'll play my hands. He comes out steadily. Uh, he'll play my hands. The fight will just go longer. If he comes into a punch up early, he'll get took out. Because he might be able to punch, but I don't think he can take one in return. So. It's an experienced fighter against an up and coming fighter. Do you think it's sort of more to your advantage that you could perhaps go on a win the fight? Yeah, really. He, he's, he's five years older than me. And he had a lot of amateur experience, but I don't have any. But I'm, I'm, I'm the experienced campaigner. Everyone tells me so. Um, mm-hmm. It's a fight I expect to win. It's not a fight I'm taking for the money because it's a big fight. It's one I, I do expect to win. I don't think I can win. I expect to win. Yeah. If you can win on Saturday night, if you can get the win over yeah. um, Nick Webb, what is that you target next? I don't know. I, I, I probably won't, I'm not going to watch for the rest of 2018, mm-hmm. whatever the result is. Yeah. And then uh, we'll see what the landscape's like when I come back. The British boxing landscape changed all the time. There's so much talent in the UK at heavyweight. Mm-hmm. It's changed all the time. So I'll have the time off and see what happens when I come back. If I win, I'll, I'll, and the British heart comes up, I'll wait. I can wait. I'm a patient man. I'll wait until 2019. If I lose, time off and decide if I do want to come back. You've mentioned there's a lot of talent, especially domestic-wise. Yeah. Uh, you've got good fighters such as uh, Joe Joyce, of course, Daniel Dubois, Nathan Gorman. Which fighter coming up in the heavyweight division is the one that excites you the most just by watching him? I think they're all very good. Joe Joyce is a lot older. I wouldn't call him up and come out. He's there. I'd say he's there right now. He's, he's, probably, the, he's probably a top 20 heavyweight in the world already. Nathan Bolton is a good friend of mine. Very good fighter. Daniel Dubois. Tom Will fight for him to realise that he could be the real deal. So mm-hmm. All three of them I think will get to a level. I think Joyce more or less is there already. So I think, I think all three can make a dent at world level. Yeah. What do you um, what do you make of the main event on Saturday night, Dilly White versus Joseph Parker? I think it's a very good fight. I think it's two heavyweights that aren't the biggest, so they rely on uh, skill, toughness, fitness, strength, mm-hmm. movement. Two heavyweights. Um, go back to the eighties and nineties. Right? Heavyweights weighing two fifteen, two twenty. We're at the top of the game. And that's what we've got here. We've got two small heavyweights. Great movement. Mm. Fit men, tough men. Um, so I'm hoping we get a fight like an eighties heavyweight fight. You know. Yeah. Um, I think I think it's the best outside of the top three. Wilder, Joshua, Fury. The the winner of this is is the fourth best heavyweight in the world for me. So mm. it's a big fight. Do you think the winner of this fight on Saturday night between White and Parker has got more of a chance to find Anthony Joshua than Deontay Wilder has due to negotiations and contracts and promoters? For me, Joshua beat both men comfortably the first time round. Yeah. So, as a boxing fan, I'd rather see the winner fight Wilder or 
an Ortiz or someone like that. I'd rather, I don't want to say, I'm not really keen on the Joshua rematch for either one. Mm -hmm. Dylan White's improved massively, but still for me, it's not a fact that really excites me, and he was the Parker rematch, so. So yeah, I don't know. When you fought Dillian White, what was that experience like fighting? It was my first big fight, so it was scary. Mm -hmm. and Dylan White now is, is uh, 10 times better. How do you mate? You alright? You good, man? How do you mate? You alright? How do you mate? Yeah, so uh, he's not the fighter he was then, he's improved mm -hmm. unbelievably, you know, he's, he's uh, the fact Dylan White I thought, he's, it's not the same Dylan White that's today, he's a million times better than he was yeah. then, so. You mentioned obviously Tyson Fury, um, he's been out of the ring, well he was out of the ring for two years and eight months, he returned a couple of weeks ago, yeah. wasn't the most convincing performance against Sefer Sefri. Judging by yourself, because you're a heavyweight boxer, do you think Tyson Fury can return to the to the top of the heavyweight division? I was fighting for the Sefri fight, and he was he hadn't really missed a uh, missed a set four or five fights in a year in the gym, and I think he's ready to take over. I think the Joshua and Wilder fights are very hard fights, very very. He needs to be as good as he was before, if not better, to beat them. But as a friend and a fan, I really I really hope that he can. Okay. Alright, well listen Dave, obviously although you've got to get out there yeah. for the public workout, I just want to thank you for taking your time out and joining us. Thank you very much, shout out Danny Morel, yes. <laughs> thank you very much thank Dave. You.